Good morning, everyone. Hi. Good morning. My battery is about to die, but good morning. How are you? I am tired. I literally just woke up, but I was like, oh, it's 7.35. Let me hop right on live before I do anything. Good morning. Hi, Ariana. Girl, I just shipped out your shirt um, yesterday. So, and I did like quick delivery, so it should be there before the week is out. Going to school. I hope you have a blessed day in school. Hi, thank you. I hope all is well with you too. So, um, let me write this scripture right here for you guys. Um, Psalm 37. So it looks like it's just me today because I don't know what Jasmine's doing. So it's just me online today, but that's all right. God's still going to work. He's still going to move. So today I want um, to come from the word, let go and let God. This is so cliche, but it is so real. Um, hi. Good morning. Polly. Is that your real name? Polly. Um. Okay, so let go and let God. So the scripture that I have, it says, For the Lord delights in justice and forsakes not his saints. They are preserved forever. So whenever we're mistreated, we always feel like we have to have revenge, right? Um, let's be honest. I mean, like for me, I know I do. So for example, when I was like in a relationship or whatever, and I found out he was with like five other girls, I'm like, oh no, I need to do something about this. Like something's got to happen. Like I wanted revenge so bad, but God's like, no, relax. Like you are my child and I will take care of things. The scripture said he delights in justice. So he wants us to have justice, but that doesn't mean he wants us to do it ourselves. You know, he doesn't want us to like necessarily have to sin to do it. Um, and it says he does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever. So like, that's basically saying he got our back. He got our back forever, no matter what happens to us or no matter how we're feeling. You know, some people think it's like, um, a sin to be angry. You know, we're always preaching about like, oh, be joyful, be happy, be proud. Sin is not an anger. Let me explain that to you today. Sin is not an anger. It's what you do with your anger when you are angry. That makes it a sin like if you do something that's completely outrageous or the thoughts that you may have when you're angry like that's what turns it into a sin but anger itself is not a sin it's okay to have those feelings of being you know upset um yeah it's not a sin at all so instead of acting out on anger and lashing out on people who hurt us and becoming bitter we're taught by the bible to trust god and pray about that thing Pray for our enemies or pray for the thing that upset us, you know. And sometimes that is a difficult approach. Trust me, I know we all we all got our issues going on. So, of course, that's a difficult approach. But um, when we do pray, that's what keeps us peaceful when we are going through something. Um, and then we are eventually brought justice through that thing. So, yeah. I know people who have wasted many years on being angry and hurt about something instead of just giving it to God and letting go. So when I was in that relationship and all of that happened, like I wasted so much of my time being hurt and angry and depressed over it instead of giving it to God immediately. And he was there the whole time. He never left me. He didn't want me to feel like that. He was like, girl, I'm trying to give you justice, but you want to be sitting up here in the bed eating ice cream, crying every day, being angry, plotting on how you can get back. And I was wasting my own time. I really was. Right? It makes sense. Wasting my own time when I should just learn how to give. I have gotten better, though. But, you know, um, when things do happen now, I'm just like, I'm slow to react. 
and I'm like, all right, God, obviously this is happening for a reason. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to let you handle it. And I do find myself stressing out less when I give things to him immediately rather than waiting. So um, one thing I know, God will make all the wrong things right. He definitely does. So keep that in mind as you go through your day. If something makes you angry, be slow to react. Give it to God immediately i'm telling you and you will feel so much better inside like it just saves you time and lady it saves you stress pimples because when we get all angry and stressed out then we start to get those little you know ugly pimples and whatnot so if you want to save your skin give it to god i'm just saying but um we can overcome evil with good so it's just that we need to stay busy doing as much good as possible. Um, so while we wait on the justice from God. Hi, beautiful. Oh my God, I love you so much. Hi. I'm on here preaching about not being angry, but you know, um, giving things to God when things do upset us. So. It's important that we continue to pray. Pray for the people that hurt you. That sounds like you have to be spiritually mature to do that. But it's so important. Pray for the people that hurt you. And when you do, God will do some amazing things in your life. I promise. So, so like now I'm over that past situation. I'm like, God, I hope he's doing well. You know, I pray that you deliver him from whatever ever evil things is going through his mind to make him want to, you know do women dirty or you know like I just pray for him I'm not I'm not angry anymore I don't seek revenge because I know God's gonna take care of that and he's gonna take care of me so you know I just ask that God um grant all of us with the grace and the patience to wait on him for our justice in our lives because as he's doing it for me I know he's doing it for Y'all, we just got to believe in it and stay strong in our faith, right? So, just ask God for the patience um, so he can deal with our issues for us. So, and also pray that he helps us um, respond properly when we are feeling angry. Like, God, help me control my thoughts. Please, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Because, you know, when we get upset, we can't. We sometimes can't control what we're thinking, what we're feeling, and we react immediately. And we got to stop doing that. So that's the word from today. Oh, another another good scripture I meant to read for you guys. Psalm 37, 8. Um, it's in the same chapter as the first scripture I read, but it says, Seize from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil doing. So basically what that's... Good morning. Hi. So basically what that saying is um, stop yourself from getting angry um, because it only makes us go out and do evil things. Like I was just saying, like, it's not the anger that's a sin. It's the thing that we do when we are angry. So if we don't properly handle our anger, good morning. If we don't properly ha handle our anger, that's when it grows into a sin. That's when God's probably not happy with us because we didn't come to him, you know. We did not come to him with that thing that was causing us to be angry, which is what we need to do. So, yeah. <sighs> That's all. If you guys have prayer requests, please drop them down below. And, um, or if you have a name, somebody that you want to pray for. Hi, Tia. Good morning. I just came to an end, but I'm going to um, post this again. Like, it's going to be up for the next 24 hours. And I'm going to put it on YouTube as well. Um, but I was talking about um, letting go and letting God, seizing from anger, and, you know, letting God have the justice when things happen to us. So I was reading Psalm 37, 28, which says, For the Lord delights in justice and forsakes not his saints. They are preserved forever. So um, basically, when things happen to us, you know, we're so angry and we want to go out and get the justice, but God's like, no, let me handle it. Um, and I was explaining that anger is not a sin, but it's the things that we do 
when we are angry that's a sin and that was um 37 psalm 37 and 8 cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not yourself it tends only to equal doing so stop yourself from getting angry because the morning hi so um yeah the anger is not a sin it's what we do when we are angry that causes sin and the things that we think so we have to pray and ask god to control our thoughts we have to invite the holy spirit in so that he can you know help us in those times when we are feeling angry to stop ourselves from doing anything ridiculous or thinking anything crazy because good morning i'm on live goodbye i love you have a good day thank you so yeah that's that um, so as I was saying, if you guys have prayer requests, drop them down below. Um, Jasmine can't be here, but she, you know, she is my, my partner in prayer. So we will both pray for you guys. Um, if you have just a name that you wanted to drop, that's fine. If you needed, um, separate prayer in my DMs, that's fine as well. Ariana. All right, Ari, I got you. If anyone else um, needs prayer, don't be afraid to ask. And don't be afraid to slide in my DMs. I'm, my DMs are always open. Hit me on the personal. And I would love to talk and pray with you. So, um, in just a moment, I am going to say a prayer on live for you all before we start our day. Because, you know, we should start our day with the Lord. <laughs> start our day with prayer so that we can have a great day and be equipped to face any battles. Got to charity. This is my little prayer journal. Yes, ma'am. Hi, sis. Let's put that top. So if that is all, we can start now. Um, well, I'll start now. So if all hearts and minds are clear. Yes, I will post it. I'm going to post it, um, you know, for the next 24 hours. And you can watch it from my Instagram anytime that you know you need a, a refresher. My YouTube. That's the Instagram. Oh, my YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to post it on YouTube. So, all right. Here we go. Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning for thanking you for waking me up, Lord. Thank you for starting me on our, on my day, Lord. Lord, I ask for forgiveness of any sins that I've committed against you. Lord, I ask for forgiveness of any thoughts that I may have thought that were unpleasing to you, God. Lord, I thank you for this Instagram platform. I thank you for the people that you have sent to join me on Instagram this morning, Lord, to receive your word. Thank you for removing Kalia and just filling me with the Holy Spirit, Lord, so that I can bring forth your word to your people as you want me to do in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the word of letting go and letting you handle all things in our life, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to realize that anger is not a sin, but it's what we do when we are angry that upsets you. That's not good for us, Lord. Lord, I pray that someone on this live today has the grace and the patience to allow you to handle whatever they're going through in the name of Jesus. Allow us to be slow to react and slow to anger and just give whatever it is that we are facing to you immediately in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you just walk with each and every one of us. You allow us to have the patience so that we can wait on you, God, in these situations. Lord, allow someone today to pray for an enemy or pray for someone that they're angry at. Just allow, do something different in our lives, Lord, um, and show us that you are working in the name of Jesus. 
Allow us to respond properly when we are greeted with anger, Lord. Allow us to immediately want to forgive that person in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to put our trust and our faith in you, Lord. Lord, I want to pray for Ariana. I pray for release of any angry spirit that is taking over her body in the name of Jesus. It is not like her and it is not of you, God. That is not who you called her to be. So, angry spirit, I rebuke you from Ariana's body in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Ariana, you are called to be happy. You are a joyful person, Lord, in the name of Jesus. She wants to be happy and she's drawing. She's asking you specifically, Lord, to help her. Help those angry feelings. Heal her heart. Whatever's going on in her heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus, heal her. Lord, I also want to pray for charity and any feelings of frustration. Whatever she's feeling frustrated about, Lord, I pray that you hear her cries. You know what she's going through and that you help her in those times of need, Lord. It, it's, it's amazing that she's asking for you, God. So I pray that you just hear her and you help release those feelings of frustration from her heart, God. Just allow her to be happy and come to you with whatever she may need in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray anybody under the sound of my voice today is just released from any angry spirit that they may have, God. And that when they do over be, become overcome with evil, that they just give it to you, God. I rebuke any spirits of anger and frustration over anybody on this live, Lord. And I just thank you in advance. We love you, Lord. I pray that we are all covered as we continue going through our week, God. Cover the school buildings. Cover the office buildings that we're all going through. Cover our cars as we are driving to work or to school, Lord. Just be with us, Lord. Fill us up with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hi, Mother. I didn't know you were on here. Amen. I hope this word blessed someone today. You're welcome. I love you. And I will post a scripture on my story as well. Um, so that it can be a reminder. Challenge yourself to memorize this, this scripture. Thank you. You too. You're welcome, Charity. Yes. Receive it. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. I give it all to God. Because that's not me. And that was nothing but God. Because when I tell you, I literally just rolled out of bed. My brain wasn't all the way there. I was like, Holy Spirit, fill me up. Because <laughs> Kalia's brain is not checked in for the day. So that was just all God. <laughs> Speaking through me, I promise. Thank you for dedicating your Wednesday mornings to us. Absolutely. I am happy to. I told myself I would be committed to this. So no matter how tired I am, I got to wake up and get on Instagram and do this prayer. <laughs> so that's why we're here every Wednesday. We here every Wednesday morning receiving our blessing before we start our day. So I just thank God for you guys receiving it. I thank God. For sending you all my way. Yes. Blessed babes. Good morning. Hello. If you just joined. Um, I'm about to get off. But you all can. Rewatch my live. So you can receive your blessing. We were talking about. Um, anger. Miss Erica. Good morning. <laughs> Should I change the time or something? Because people be joining right when I'm getting off. <laughs> and um, But I am going to repost it so you all can, you know, rewatch the live and receive that blessing. I really want you guys to hear it. 
And when, I, like I said, when I get off, I'm going to post um, the scripture. So look out for that on my story. Psalm 37, 28. I'll take a screenshot of the actual scripture so that we can challenge each other to memorize it. You know, the, I need the scripture and rewatch. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to send it to you. I'll send it in our, um, in our group chat. 